Welcome back, I'm Mr. Felstrom and this is the Geometry Screencast. Today we're going to be looking at the area of a regular polygon. The formula for a regular polygon is uh, this formula right down here, area equals one half the apothem times the perimeter, A times P. The apothem, you might know, is the distance from the center of the polygon to the midpoint of a side, and the perimeter is the distance all the way around. Uh, we will be using a slightly different approach uh, today in the two examples that we're going to look at. Um, our first example is finding the area of a regular octagon with a side length of 20. Uh, now the way that uh, we're going to do this is to split our octagon up into small triangles and then I could find the area of that triangle and then multiply by however many triangles I have. Uh, because this is a regular polygon, each triangle from the center to the two vertices will be congruent. So then I can just multiply by how many I have. The side length is 20, so I have that right here. And in order to find this area, I just need uh, the height. And then I can do one half the base times the height. However, the problem is that I don't have the height, and the only way that I can get it is really through trig. Uh, I need to find this angle down here. I can also find this angle uh, right up here, but I like to do the uh, interior angle, half of one interior angle. So that's what I'm going to do uh, right here. I went through and I did my n minus 2 times 180, which is 1080 since there are 8 sides. Now all 8 angles will add up to 1080. Dividing that by 8 since they're all the same is 135. And uh, because the central, excuse me, the uh, interior angle is cut exactly in half since these two are congruent, I'm going to divide that by 2 and I get 67.5. So angle X right here is 67.5 degrees. Knowing that information, I can set up a trigonometric function problem. Uh, I want the opposite of angle X and I have the adjacent in this uh, right triangle the adjacent side would be 10 uh, half of 20 and so I'll move this out of the way and we have a tangent of 67.5 equals the height over 10 multiply both sides by 10 and we get 10 times the tangent of 67.5 to equal the height I'm gonna leave that there uh, for the time being so I don't have to worry about rounding and I'm ready to go. I have my base, which is 20. I have my height, which is 10, tangent of 67.5. So the area of that triangle is 1 half the base, 20, times the height, 10, tangent 67.5. And it's approximately 241.4 units. That's one triangle. Uh, I do have an octagon. So there are eight triangles within this shape. So taking that area with that answer still in the calculator and just hitting times eight, I get the final answer of 1,931.37 inches squared. In this example, we're going to be finding the area of a regular dodecagon with a radius of 9 centimeters. We're still going to use the same approach where we set up a triangle. But if you notice, instead of having a side length, we have a radius. The radius comes from the center to the uh, vertice of an interior angle. That naturally splits it into congruent triangles again, so we can still use the same approach that we did in the previous example. Uh, four steps, and I still pretty much need the same information. I need to find the height, but this time I'm missing the base also. Uh, so I'm going to start off finding angle X, which is one half of one interior angle. Uh, dodecagon has 12 sides, so 12 minus 2 times 180 is 1800 divided by 12 which is 150 and then cutting that in half gives me 75 so the angle X is 75 degrees 
Now from there I can go and find the height. It's the opposite sign, but since I have the radius this time, which is 9, it's acting like the hypotenuse of that right triangle right in here. And so the trig function that uses the opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So I'm going to use sine to find the height. Sine of 75 equals uh, h over 9, opposite over uh, hypotenuse, and multiply both sides by 9. Here I'm going to leave it as uh, 9 sine 75 so I can avoid the rounding. And next is to find the base. So the base is uh, I labeled as S for the side, which is also the side length. But really what I'm going to be finding is A, which is half of the base. Uh, and that's because that's the part in the right triangle that I can find. So what I did is using cosine because I want the adjacent and I have the hypotenuse. I'm going to find the side length. Cosine of 75 equals the adjacent over 9. Uh, multiply both sides by 9. So I get 9 cosine 75, but then I will multiply it by 2. And that's because, again, uh, this 9 cosine 75 is just uh, from here to here, to that right angle. And I actually need the whole base, which is twice that. So I doubled it to get 18 cosine 75. So now I have my height, and I have my base, which is also my side length. So now I can go and find the area of that triangle doing one half base times height. So the area of the triangle is one half the base, 18 cosine 75, times the height, 9 sine 75, and that gives me approximately 20.25. Multiplying both sides by, uh, or excuse me, multiplying by 12. And that's because I am talking about a dodecagon, so there are 12 triangles all the way around. Multiplying both sides by 12, I get 243 centimeters squared. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.